So we're going to take a look at habitat that's suitable for barn owls and also how to create and manage habitat that benefits barn owls. Barn owl populations in Ireland have declined quite dramatically in recent decades and one of the main reasons for that is changes in agriculture. So the intensification of farming practices and for barn owls that has meant a reduction in prey rich foraging habitat. So things like loss of hedgerows, increased pesticide, fertilizer input, to switch from hay to silage, all of these combined means less foraging habitat and less prey available to barn owls. So farmers can play a big role in reversing that and in maintaining suitable habitat that's there but also creating and enhancing habitat for barn owls. And when we think of habitat that's suitable for barn owls, it's not only barn owls. Barn owls are top predators. So any measures that we take to improve or enhance habitat is not only going to benefit barn owls but a whole range of other biodiversity. So firstly it's important to know which habitats are unsuitable for barn owls and where you typically don't find barn owls. And there's a range of these habitats. So barn owls are very much uh, a bird of lowland farmland and of open country. And they, they don't occur in upland areas. So typically areas above 400 metres of altitude are typically unsuitable for barn owls. You won't find them. Also as well, heavily built up areas, urban areas are typically unsuitable for barn owls. And also dense woodland, even if there's good small mammal populations in the woodland. Barn owls are a species of a bird of open country and you typically don't find them within dense woodland. The habitats that are good for barn owls and that barn owls use are typically farmland habitats where it's, which are typically open and where, which are good for small mammals and it's really important to think of small mammals when it comes to barn owl habitat because that's mostly what they're looking for and mostly what they're feeding on. So on farmland, if it's suitable habitat for small mammals, it's typically suitable for barn owls. So hedgerows are so important for barn owls and for biodiversity in general. And we've seen that from studies looking at barn owl foraging behavior in the Irish landscape, whereby birds almost completely ignore the interior of fields which are intensive of improved pasture. And they're very much tied and focusing their hunting effort along the hedgerows and along the field margins. And that is because that's where the the prey is, that's where the small mammals is. So it's so, so important for barn owls and for other wildlife that we take care of our hedgerows, that we manage them appropriately. And there's a few simple steps that we can take. So for example, not regularly cutting hedgerows. If we cut hedgerows once every three years, that allows them to grow, allows them to, to flower, allows the berries to produce, which is all valuable food for small mammal populations. Also, the base of hedgerows are really, really important. And if we can have wide margins with rough grassland, that is, encourages small mammal populations, provides suitable foraging habitat for barn owls. And if we make sure that these are fertilizer free. So the small mammal species that we have in Ireland, which are wood mouse, house mouse, bank foal, greater white the shrew and pygmy shrew, they all occur in hedgerows. They all use hedgerows for different reasons, but for shelter and for food, and the food being berries and also invertebrates in the, in the margins and at the base of the hedgerow. So they're the species that barn owls are looking for, and that shows just how important hedgerows and the hedgerow margins are. It's also really important that we leave space for nature on farmland and we need to change our perceptions that areas that are maybe not in the normal agricultural you know productive cycle that they're 
not important, but they are hugely important for biodiversity. And areas, whether it be the corners of fields or margins that are, you know, where we're letting wildflowers grow and where there's rough grassland, they are vital resource for barn owls and for, and, and for other wildlife and a hugely important part of our farmland for biodiversity. In areas as well where there's tillage and cereal producing areas, these can be really important for barn owls too. And particularly arable margins, so the margins at the, at the fringes of cereal fields. And we've seen that from studies again of how barn owls use the landscape and in cereal areas they do use the and hunt over the, the centre of the fields, the interior of the fields, but particularly important are the field margins. And if we can increase the width of the margin, and reduce fertilizer input, that is gonna have huge benefits for barn owls. Wild bird cover is another habitat that can be really valuable for barn owls. And that's creating a habitat primarily targeted to provide food for seed eating birds, but it also has and provides a really good habitat for small mammal populations. And because of that, it can benefit barn owls and other predators, the likes of kestrel, long-eared owl, buzzard, and other species which feed and which specialize on small mammal populations. So wild bird cover is another really important habitat for barn owls and other wildlife. If you're creating suitable habitat or managing suitable habitat for barn owls and other biodiversity, it's really important to also try and reduce fertilizer input and pesticide input. And you don't want a situation whereby you're encouraging barn owls to an area, but then causing negative effects by using rodenticides and having the risk of barn owls being contaminated by rodenticides. So it's really important that alongside the measures of habitat creation and management that also you're reducing pesticide input. If you have suitable habitat for barn owls on your land or if you're creating and managing habitat for barn owls on your land then it would be great to also put up a nest box for barn owls to give them an opportunity provide a safe and secure nest site that they can that they can use that they can use for breeding. So we've created a video on barn owl nest boxes everything you need to know about building and installing a barn owl nest box and you can check that out in the description below.